said the identity of every child comes from their father so if the father is absent if the father is not available that child is going to have issues with identity another word for father is abba and abba means source and means sustainer for something to be the source of something else it means that that thing is responsible for the production of the other and when something is the source of something it's responsible for sustaining that thing now if we say that the father is the source of a child it simply means that everything about that child comes from the father so whether it be the love that is present in that child whether it be the identity of that child whether it be what that child knows he's supposed to be supposed to become comes from the father that child or that thing cannot live cannot be sustained in the absence of whatever sources it. so if abba is absent in a child's life if the father in the family is absent in the child's life it simply means that the person that child is going to lack sustenance so whether that sustenance means love whether it means finances whether it means whatever it means it just means that to an extent the child is going to lack some very vital and important things that are supposed to be present in his life or her life so that's why i said that when the the, the father is absent in the child's life the child is losing out on a very important thing in his or her life and that's why a person being able to reconnect with the spiritual is a very vital factor in a person loving himself or loving herself very vital factor the same way we see that for someone to really get back their identity that person gets help until that person is completely healed and usually when someone is going through that process of healing most times they need to be a father figure introduced into the person's life so whether it be a pastor whether it be a stepdad whether it be you know the grandfather an uncle that steps into that role of a father whether it even be god because god is our father generally everybody's father god is our father so until that role is occupied by a father figure a child a person is going to keep searching for their identity going to keep searching for their source going to keep searching for their sustenance from external factors so you are still going to be looking outside of yourself for love you're still going to be looking outside of yourself for your purpose you are going to be looking outside of yourself for basic things that you need in your life because the role of a father in your life is missing whether it be the role of god in your life because the role god has to play in your life enables you to love yourself like i've said gives you your purpose and one of these days we're going to talk about purpose and all of that but is your connection your 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 awakening of the spiritual your reawakening of the spiritual that allows you to actually know what your purpose is and walk in it. the reason why a lot of people do not love themselves and do not even have the ability to love themselves yes they can claim that oh i love myself self-love this that that they can claim all of that but the reason why they do not have the ability to actually love themselves the way they deserve is because they've not allowed themselves to be loved by the creator if not allowed themselves to be loved by the father we have a father in god god is abba he's our source is our sustainer is our creator and anything that is a source of something we came from him that's why he's our source and everything that sources something is responsible for sustaining that thing so if god sourced us it means that he's the one responsible for sustaining us so he's the one that is that has the ability to give us self-love so if you if you do not if you have not allowed yourself to be loved by that person if you've not gotten your source of love from the creator then it's going to be impossible for you to love yourself it's going to be you can try to love yourself yes you can try to be all self-love but you cannot love yourself to the degree that you should be loved except you've gotten a grasp of that kind of love and you cannot even think 
of being of, of loving someone else except you've actually been you've you've actually experienced that kind of love. Now the reason why a person will not be able to love themselves by themselves is because they've not allowed themselves to be loved by God. Now the love of God is available. Whether you know it or not, God loves you. Whether you are aware of it or not, God loves all of us. God loves his children. The same way if you have a father, if you know the kind of love your father has for you, especially for those people that have that you know have or has ever had the love of their father being expressed to them. But the only way you can now begin to love yourself is when you become aware of that love. You only the love of God only flows into your life in this way that it becomes self-love if you become aware of the love that God has for you. That's the way you you begin to you know walk in self-love. You cannot walk in self-love in the absence of your knowledge of the love that God has for you. The reason why that is, like I've said and I've been saying, is that that love that he has for you is what produces love in you that's what produces what we call self-love if you do not love yourself you cannot love nobody else you cannot love your boyfriend your girlfriend your children your spouses you cannot love your family members you can't love nobody do we now see why the the greek book says love your neighbor as yourself because that love has a multiplier effect because by the time you love yourself, you are able to love somebody else and that love goes into society and makes society a better place. Do we now understand? Do we see where we are going with this?